Okay, thank you. Six rounds of international light heavyweight boxing. Would you introduce, we introduce to you in the red corner, from New Caledonia via his native country of France. He's fought in Ireland, Algeria, England, New Caledonia, in Australia. Fought Blake Caparello here a couple of months ago. 15 years in professional boxing. Tipping the scales at 79.10 kilograms. 30 fights, 21 wins, one draw, eight losses. His coach, Reg Lecker, in the corner. Would you welcome, ladies and gentlemen, from the South Pacific, FF Belgicam, wearing sea blue trunks. And across the ring in the blue corner from Slacks Creek, Queensland, suburb of City of Logan, holder, WBA Oceana Light Heavyweight Championship. 16 fights, 15 wins, one loss, 10 by knockout. Coach Chris McCullum, this young man at 78.95 kilograms, white and scarlet trunks. Would you welcome to Melbourne, Trent Broadhurst. <laughs> Referee Tony Moretta, judges Andrew Campbell, Alan McCall, Samantha Bulner. Here we go, six rounds of international light heavyweight boxing. Go, go. Again. Okay, boys, just defend yourselves at all times and obey my instructions at all times. Okay, touch gloves. Okay, good, good. So, Tony Moretta, the man in charge, all set. All set. Broadhurst, the pink and silver. I spoke to Angelo De Carlo during the week and he says any heavyweight, light heavyweight in Australia, bring them anywhere, anytime. Of course that one shocking loss at the hands of the New Zealander, the butcher, Rob Berridge. This is round number one and he's facing young man with 41 years of age, the experience of a fief, Belgicam, New Caledonia via his native of France, Sam Greco in commentary with me, the K1 legend, super heavyweight legend, and now of stage and screen, this is bout number two at light heavyweight. It's great to see both fighters filling each other out. Trent just using that measuring stick off that jab. Just trying to look for it, doesn't want to stand in front. Broadhurst, without any disrespect, most notably Mundine and Giel haven't had to fly in top-notch overseas sparring partner. I, I was talking to Trent and I said, how many rounds? He said, I think I've done 100 with Chock and I've done 100 with with Geely. And there was some sting in the punch. There's two Trent Broadhurst talking to uh, Chrissy McCallum earlier this evening. And this one looks like he's really switched on. He definitely is switched on. His timing's impeccable here. He's such a technician, Trent Broadhurst. Absolutely. He picks his time. His timing is absolutely impeccable. Have a look at him tonight. Good body shots there. Landing left and right. Round one action. Fight out of it. Come on, fight out of it. Fight! This is Watch the head. Watch the head. A thief has never been stopped. Belshikam has never been stopped. Ooh, a low, a low punch from Broadhurst. Referee fine with it. Tony Moretta again low underneath that left, underneath that left elbow. Not a criticism, but it did seem a little low. No, it was low, and you're right. It was a good call there, Mark. Would not have tickled. <laughs> then I think Ricky Hatton once said it's not a tickling contest. Round one action from the Melbourne Pavilion. I've got to say it again without harping on it. My goodness, Brian Amatruda, what a venue. Brian Amatruda does it again, what a great venue. And what a great night of boxing here. Both boys slugging it out here. Tressley so composed, leading off a jab. Never been stopped and been in with three world champions, Bel Shikam, including Andy Lee, Darren Barker, who we know all about, and Hassan Nadam. Drop of the mouth guard there. Mouth guard. Well, your experience is, was it a... Okay, it's Trent. Mouthpiece out. Referee Moretta calls it back on. So the South Poor is Mel Shikam, who scores with a left hand underneath to the midsection. 
he doesn't. I'd like to see. I'd like to see what Trent work to his left a bit more, having his left foot outside. Uh, you know, as if, uh, if it's right leg and flow plenty of right hands, especially against the south, where you want to be able to flow plenty of right hands. And that's the end of round number one. One in the bank, and one goes by the way of Trent Waters. But that's only my opinion. There's three judges at ringside that see the fight from three different angles, Sammy. Yeah, we do indeed. I mean, you, you, you saw yourself, Trent was landing there with nice, some nice body shots all the way through, good head movement. Inside the corner. So seconds out, ready for round number two. Can you swap the corner for me, please? Ready for round number two. Broadhurst. Box. The pink and silver trim. Box. And he's blown up since the weigh-in yesterday to come into this fight. Angelo De Carlo, as I mentioned at the start of the fight, wants any light heavyweight anywhere, anytime. And I must say that included... Danny Green, the green higher, machine, who has been one of my favourites for so long. In fact, of course, in action next next Wednesday here in Melbourne, and I believe it too is a sellout. It is definitely, it is definitely a sellout. Look forward to seeing that one too. But look at the action here in centre ring tonight. Look at Brent going for the body there. Nice combinations there. Very calm, very collective. He's using that jab just to hold a fifth at bay. Chris here, McCullum. Two-time Australian champion. No holding. No. Underneath no goes Belcher Calm. No. I think uh, Trent caught it on the gloves. He's getting sized up. He's getting measured up, is he, perhaps? Some people, some good judges at ringside, not say, saying that this won't go past three. And we've told you already, Belshakam never been stopped even at 41 years of age. I won't say the sunset of his career. I think I just did. <laughs> right hand down the middle from Broadhurst. Underneath, left hook over the top. Nice straight hand. Maybe calling him, and you're calling me exactly. As I said before, Tr Trent is just landing nice and clean. He's not phased, he's not phased by, by Belichan's technique whatsoever at all in terms of his punches. He's standing there in front, he's got good head movement, but his timing, as I said, is impeccable. There's that beautiful right hand straight down the centre. That body shot. It's just a matter of time now. I like what I'm seeing from Trent. Well measured. Well measured, pinpoint accuracy, slipping punches, moving. He's on tonight. As Belcher Command loads with some punches, and that takes that takes some some bravery really at this stage of the fight, although it's early. It is early and it was a great exchange there. Mark Warren with you on nine jump in. Joined by the Australian legend of K1, Sammy Greco at ringside. A three-time WAKO world champion and now a superstar of stage and screen. But that's for another conversation. We're in round number two of our second fight of the evening at light heavyweight. It's Belshikam in the aqua blue with black and gold piping in against Trent Broadhurst from Queensland out of the Angelo De Carlo camp and trained by two-time Australian champion Chris McCallum. That's the end of round two, two in the bank. Now a second place shot. So after you do your As we see the replay here, 
Trent lining him up, leading him off with that jab. And there's that straight right hand we were talking about landing it. Straight on his nose. Highlights with Sammy Greco. And there's the body shots we were talking about with, with a barrage of body shots left and right. Going a bit wide, but effective. Scheduled for six. No, I won't go too early. To round three action. Trent just used a little bit of body weight and Tony Moretta pulled him up. Maybe he said a slight use of the elbow, the tricks of the trade. It is a trick of the trade, just showing a bit of domination out there. That's all he's doing. I see Jeffrey Fennick sitting next to you. He, well, he threw out the rule book. <laughs> created his own. <laughs> exactly. He created a, a legend. What a story it was. Trent's got a great game plan here. He keeps backing a few straight back in the corner, working the body. Slipping. And now he's in danger because Broadhurst, I said before, mentioned that he's sizing him up and he's working him back towards the neutral corner. Now Trent throws a left hand over the top. No, I've got to admire Bel Shikam. Still bringing the flight forward, giving away height and reach. Bel Shikam is definitely a workhorse, as you've seen tonight. He's taken a barrage of punishment, but he's still there, standing there in front and just giving it everything he's got. There he is again, he's back up against the ropes, still punching away. He's no slouch. 30 professional fights with 21 victories. He's done it at the world, world class level. Eight losses, one draw. Just five KOs, not blessed with a lot of power. So says the CV. It does indeed. Look, he has got a great knockout record, but hey, he's a workhorse. Oh, great body shot, uh, shot there by uh, Trent. It's amazing to see Abif standing there, always in front, unloading from a southpaw position. Trent's just got his measure, swish it off that jab. There it goes again. Stop! Time! Who's mouth guard? Yours. New to corner. Trent's just dropped that mouth guard once again. Tony Moreno calling it. Go, Blake. Go. Box. Round three action. Nice right hand there by Trent. Landing. There is another one landing on the landing square on the nose of a if. I thought they might have gone a little bit over the top. Taken on the gloves just a little bit, taking the edge off the punch perhaps. Yeah, Trent seems to find that opening, and if he's not an opening, he tends to create it. And again, Bel Shikam fires back shots under attack. In fact, under and over, misses with the right hand. He'd like to be very careful there. Indeed, look. It's got left hook written all over it. Bel Shikam's not the most technical fighter. He's here, and he's here for a good fight. And he's going to make it as awkward as possible for Trent tonight. Broadhurst swinging low, swinging underneath, left to the rib cage, and Belcher can't come back. Wow! It's courage. He's losing the fight, but it's courage personified. Back goes the head to signal the end of round number three. Great round. Great round for both fighters there. Let's take you to the replays. It's warfare from the Melbourne Pavilion. Here's Sam Greco. Well, here's a great right hand, as I was talking about before. Trent has just got his measure again. There's that straight right hand finding its mark right between the Viff's hands, left and right. Especially for a southward position, that's exactly what you want to do. Plenty of right hands stepping out to your left. Sam, off the topic, but now, as I said, you're an actor. Bell Shikar. Give me your best oh, Bell Shikar. <laughs> Belshikar. Right. I'm not quite sure you're going to get a job if it's no. a French accent. <laughs> Was that the Belshikar? Oh, very good. Sam Greco at ringside. This is round four, and they are set for six. Set for six.
Uh, he's braved the 41-year-old Bel Chican from New Caledonia, originally from France. From France. Uh, it's still walking forward into dangerous territory. He is indeed Bel Chican to stand there right in front. I tell you what, he's got for punishment, and he's just giving back. As much as he's receiving, he's giving back. Technically correct. Technically correct. The Southpaw. Awkward fighters. Awkward, awkward fighters. These guys, you can see the sweat spraying off. So, Bel Shikam, if you're joining us on Nine Jump In, he's the Southpaw. The power is coming out of the left hand. But right now, he's under attack and still coming forward. Tucking the head in, tying up Trent with the left hand there. He's fighting very smart, Belshikhan. He's, he's giving Trent a hard time in this fourth round. A lot different to the first and the second. But he's a warrior. He's out there. He's not the most technical, as I said, but he's there. He's a straight left hand by Belshikhan. Trent will probably go straight up the centre. He loves being in close. And the head continues to tilt back every time he fires that left jab up the middle, up the gun barrel. Watch the head, boys. Watch the head. Belchikam continues to throw punches. Hands are high. A right hand lead from Broadhouse. Underneath the left hand, a right hand over the top. Belchikam, head goes back again. And now he's on the ropes and he's, well, I said, well, this is full, cut, full scale assault now. Definitely is full scale assault. I'd like to see Trent sit on those punches. He's got a beautiful punching power. But if he sits on them, he'll actually put this guy away tonight. It's about at the stage where I ask you how is this still going and does the referee have to have a close look? Yeah, I don't think the referee's got anything to do with this right at the moment. You know, Belshikhan's a warrior. He's there. He's not going to give up. Hard to stop it when he's still throwing punches. Exactly, and he's throwing a barrage of punches. And the, hilt is, and the head is tilting back on multiple occasions. And there's a heavy left hand from Belshikar and doubles it up. And wow. Looks like one of them has been cut. I'm trying to have a look here, whether it's Trent. Whether Trent's been cut above the right eye. Either from a punch or a headbutt. I'm not exactly sure. Belshikar has sensed it. Wants to keep working there. So Trent getting some rounds here, but you know, this is a dangerous fighter. This is a dangerous fire under full scale assault. Yeah, Belshi can't shouldn't be it shouldn't be underestimated here. What a great round. Absolute great round from both guys. End of round number four. We'll stay in the corner. Stay in the blue corner with Chris McCullum. Uh, so so, yeah, I'll just come see him at the end when the fight starts again. Yeah, yeah. I'll just need time. Yeah, no, you yeah. just do your thing. Yeah, cool. Ignore me. Yeah, cool. Hey, uh, let him in the corner. Yeah, I know. Uh, so what round yeah, yeah. yeah, well, maybe, maybe not. But that's a different thing. Dr. Peter Lewis just having a, a close look at the cut. It's over the right eye, as you as you called. Yeah, the, the, the doctor has said as long as it's not obstructing his vision, the fight goes on. Replay action with Sam Greco. There's that lead off, which oh, beautiful. There's that beautiful right hand counter that we've been talking to Belcher hand. Gives back. The Footy Show Fight Night presents an evening with Team Fennec. Brian Amatruda and Big Time Boxing. They touch them up and this is round number five. And Belshikam, yeah, well, he continues to absorb punishment and march forward. I can't emphasize it enough. No holding. Okay, no holding. Let's go. Belshikam seems to step forward more and more as the rounds go on. His work rate's increasing. If you're just joining us on nine, jump in. The Frenchman... Great angle work there by Trent. Has been in with three world champions, no less. Andy Lee, Darren Barker, who of course Gearley knows all about. And Hassan N. Dam. He has never been stopped. Can Broadhurst do that with two rounds left on the clock? Would you know, looking at the earlier rounds, I probably would have said Trent's done enough. But having a look now, Belshan is there and he's there to fight. He's unloading, he's trading, he doesn't really care tonight. Well, it's an awkward game plan. I'll soak up as much punishment as humanly possible, and then I'm going to march forward and shock the young gun. 
And I think if, if Belichan decided to take half a step back as he's punching, he'd have more range on those punches. Seems to smother himself, but still landing, but landing awkwardly. Beautiful, nice uppercut there by Belichan. If he would have caught Trent, he would have ripped his head off. 27 years young, Trent Broadhurst slipped that right hand lovely. Fair to say, much harder to read the southpaw for Trent Broadhurst. It is, but you know, Trent's obviously got a plan, his corner's got a plan, he has to step out on the outside. There's plenty of right hands against the south court. Plenty of right hand left hooks. Lead right hand left hooks. And he's looking for that rematch with the butcher, the Kiwi, Rob Berridge, talking to Chris McCullum sometime in October at this stage, talking to Angelo De Carlo, his promoter. And he's put it out there. Any light heavyweight in Australia at any time, anywhere. In fact, he said he won't fight Rob Berridge in one place, and that's Queensland. He wants to do it on someone else's home turf. Keep him up, Frank. Keep him up. Tony Moretta calling, calling on Trent to keep those body shots higher. Bit of a low blow. Belcher come. Belcher Khan's doing a great job. Keeps walking forward, doing a great job. Catching Trent. Let's go. Step back. Come on. The action slows in round number five. And man, a flurry of punches from Belcher Khan. Back off the neutral corner. A right, left, and then a left uppercut and a left hook over the top. And this fight's getting better by the round. As the rounds go on, these boys are fighting, fighting harder and faster. Right hand down the middle, may have stolen the round, but only just. Belchikam comes back, a right hook, a right shot from Broadhurst on the bell. Wow, did Belchikam do enough to steal the round? What a great round. Their work rate was absolutely phenomenal. It just got better as the round went on. I asked the question again, you're not getting off early. Did Belchikam get the round? Here's the, here's the replays, and I'll leave you with that question. Here's that trade-off. Nice body shot. Oh, beautiful, beautiful left hook there, Bolshan. It's a count. It's counts, and that's what the judges are looking at. There's that right left by Bolshan again, catching, making its mark. There it is again. Does he get the round? Well, you're the world champion. You're the K1 legend. That was a low shot. That was a low shot. He was lucky in round one. Broadhurst playing with a little bit of danger. It's probably the only way he gets stopped. He'd have to be stopped. But he's been very lucky with a couple of low blows. Let's go, Semi. Sixth and final round. Light heavyweight contest. Bel Shakam, New Caledonia, originally from France with Trent Broadhurst, the Queenslander. Sixth and final round. I think we're going to see these guys stand toe to toe for the sixth and final round. Both of them want this fight. I'd say that Chris McCullum would be saying, look, we can box. We can win this on points. We don't have to stop. We don't have to stop Bel Shakam. It's never been done before. And Sam, let's not throw caution to the wind, per se. Yep, I look, I, I, look, I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Well, you don't have to. No, no, I agree with you. I'll agree with you. But look, this is a fight that could go either way. I really can't pick it right at the moment. It's been a great fight. And these guys are trading all the way through. And as I said, as the rounds get, get on, this is the sixth and final round. As you saw there, look, there's a fantastic trade. Both guys answering each other with left and right. Oh, beautiful right hand there by Trent. Broadhurst has done in excess of 100 rounds of sparring with the real deal Danny Gill. He's done the same with Anthony the Man Mundine. He sparred with the green machine Danny Green. In fact, was with Gill for the two lead up to the Germany, uh, to the fight in Germany, and I reckon also on the Mundine matchup. Referee Tony Moretta doing his job very well there. He's picking on Trent saying, hey, don't push that head down, just work, work out of it. I was fortunate enough to host that sparring session between Giel and, and uh, Broadhurst out at uh, Camden for the, the team out there, for Gary and Billy at the, the Grange at the old school of boxing. G'day if you're watching, boys. Great to have your company on nine. Jump in as Belshikar continues to amaze people here at ringside.
Yeah, he's definitely here. His work rate's increased, and he wants this as much as as much as Trent. That goes the head, but he's not going anywhere. About 60 seconds left on the clock. Sixth and final round. Well, so these guys pick it up all the way home now. First warning, the holding. First warning. Short left hand, left underneath. Oh, we got caught with the left foot. The legs are okay, are they? Are they? Well, if, this is a test of time now. Like you said, it's less than 60 seconds to go. Who wants it bad enough? Does Trent want it, does Trent want it bad enough? Does Belichon want it bad enough? Who knows? It's a puncher's chance out here. If I'm Chris McCullum, I'm almost saying we stay away and box and put pride in the back seat. And I totally agree with him. It's like Trent's work's best done from the distance. I'd like him to use that distance a little bit more in future fights. There's no doubt that he's silky. He's got all the silky skills and tools. That's the end of the fight. And thank goodness if you're a Trent Broadhurst fan, let me say that. He's won the fight. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We have a unanimous decision. Judges Samantha Bullner and Andrew Campbell both had it 59-55. Final card, Ellen McCall, 60-54. Your winner, unanimous, Blue Corner, Trent Broadhurst. Unanimous decision, Trent Broadhurst. Unanimous decision. No shock there, but in wrapping it up, Belcher Khan, well, he's been in with three. He's never been stopped. And is still a dangerous fighter for an up-and-comer with all the tools.